Actually, if you're interested, I was ill the last couple of uh, weeks, three weeks in a row. I was ill and wasn't able to shoot anything. I don't know why. I don't know how it happened because I was ill. Then I got back, work, went to work, became ill again. Not being ill, healthy. Ha! <laughs> Uh, became healthy again and then, uh, well, <laughs> got ill again the, for the third time it was. Uh -uh. So, wasn't able to shoot anything. Sorry for that, but I'm back. Unboxing time. Guys, this is your official <laughs> Rode Video Micro review from myself. You may know this uh, microphone actually from any other YouTube video that you have seen in the last couple of years and uh, their mother's YouTube videos as well. Two hours later. This is uh, a small portable version of every other microphone that you can have for your camera. It's really good for vlogging and uh, it is really good for stationary videos like the things that I mostly do. And um, I got it for 50 euros. 50 euros is a fine price for a microphone. I had the B Boya, is it called Boya? Maybe I think it's a Russian firm, so it must be called Boya. So it's, I got the Boya shotgun microphone before and um, I really didn't like it. So I got myself the Video Micro, a smaller shotgun version that I can transport uh, with my camera. There is uh, only one slight problem that I hadn't um, thought of while buying the microphone and um, that was I had a Sony Alpha and this one had a um, microphone jack, the all-time beloved microphone jack that I'm always talking about. Mm. Last video, you may have seen it. The camera that I got for myself while waiting for my Blackmagic Pocket 4K, uh, you know, the, the camera. And um, the one that I got does not have an audio check, so it's getting complicated. I got the A6000 as a model f between the S7S and the BMPC. And um, yeah. <laughs> this is quite complicated if you want to vlog. You need to do some stuff with it. And uh, I'm actually going to show you what I need to vlog and then we have a small comparison. And I have something special prepared for you as well so that you can hear the different audio quality. Right now we are actually recording with the Rode NT-USB, my go-to trusted microphone for everything. And, um, and uh, we will have some more videos coming up on the audio stuff that I'm doing. Sound design, let's just call it, it's going to be a sound uh, design three weeks something, I guess. So we will have uh, this video today with the video micro and um, some stuff around it. Then we will have a big comparison. I got a lot of microphones sitting there waiting to be uh, compared against each other and then... Um, we will have some audio design stuff. So how do I make my style, my audio better in, uh, I'm mainly using Audition and how the hell. Cool, I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> and that's actually it. So let's actually begin with the video and the video micro. I got it right here. This is a really great microphone. I like it. It's just small. It has a small dead cat on it that feels mm, quite soft i could yeah this um if my beard would be as soft as this that cat i would be mm, <laughs> i would do this all day long i'm pretty sure oh, it smells really good my beard does smell really good as well but that's not the case and um so we got this small directional shotgun microphone from rode you can put it onto your camera, I can't because, well, I have a hot shoe mount, it has a hot shoe mount as well, but... 8,000, I'm pointing right at you right now. Ah. Not you, my viewers, but the A6000 camera. This, this. The A6000 would be so great if it would have a microphone input check. This, I can't understand why Sony didn't. $300 for a camera. A Sony Alpha. Hmm. Yay! The Rode Video Micro Shotgun is a directional microphone. You can put it anywhere. It doesn't record as much sound from the back and from the sides as from the front. That's why it is called a directional microphone. And um, 
It has no batteries. I really like it, but you knew that because everyone talks about that and you just plug in your cable and that's it. It is done. So my problem is I have the A6000 as already said and I can mount the microphone on it but I have nothing to put it in so I need to do something if I want to vlog and uh, I just grab my Zoom H2n and uh, connect it with the where is it the line in Bloop. and uh, that would be great but how do I actually mount that onto my A6000? That's just stupid. And I can't mount it anywhere here. Well, I could, mm, nah. I got the NT-USB and the NT-USB is normally coming with an arm. If you have the money, you can get yourself an arm from Rode. But they sent you this little feller. The, I don't know, Rode thing that you put on the table and it has the same connection, 3.5, as the um, Rode Video Micro. I should have made a sponsoring deal with Rode because I'm <laughs> their name is going to fall a lot today. And then we have this version, so I can put it anywhere next to my camera. That's my solution for vlogging. Yay. So let's get back to the mic itself and make a sound test with it so that you can actually hear uh, anti-USB, no microphone with the camera and um, so this is not so this is not a really fair comparison because it will sound better if without any uh, magic in audition and stuff it will sound better than when you just record it straight into your camera because of the preamps but cannot do anything else so and for the sound test i brought something very special with me one of the most genius lyrics and lyrics that i have ever seen and i'm going to read it to you it comes from the mighty east asian place called japan it is the first godzilla comic uh, that has been put onto the market 30 cents it costs 30 cents I have to be, oh, I haven't even opened it yet. I haven't even opened it yet? Holy shit. Are you for real? <laughs> should have. Wear gloves. I should have put on gloves for that. I'm going to read it, it to you. The smallest. Mm. Mm. It smells old. It's great. Oh, it's so good. First, starting with the anti-USB. Godzilla, the coming. Alaska, the mildest winter in 200 years, gives way to an even warmer spring, perhaps explaining why a huge iceberg suddenly disintegrates, releasing a most unwilling prisoner. Now to the camera version. Alaska, the mildest winter in 200 years, gives way to an even warmer spring, perhaps explaining why a huge iceberg suddenly disintegrates, releasing a most unwilling prisoner. <laughs> I really like Godzilla, if you may have noticed. And now to the uh, road video macro itself. Alaska, the mildest winter in 200 years gives way to an even warmer spring, perhaps explaining why a huge iceberg suddenly disintegrates, releasing a most unwilling prisoner. So, I hope you actually like this video. That's it. There's nothing more to say about it. If you want to, if you want to have some more uh, insight, go to any other channel on YouTube that, that has something to do with uh, video stuff and uh, watch their road video mic review. I was actually Leech. If you liked it, click on the subscribe button. Click on anything else that you see. Have some fun. Talk to me in the comments. Talk to somebody else in the comments, and uh, we'll actually see us in the next uh, sound stuff uh, sound review video. I guess. That I'm going to release? Yeah, probably. See you then!